Hello everyone, this is Amrit Pal Singh. Welcome to the next video on Apache Strong. In this video, I'll be talking about uh, the new term which is Trident. So you must be wondering what this Trident is all about. So that's the reason I've decided to uh, make a separate video on it. So uh, let me start with this topic, Trident, and uh, I'll be discussing what is Trident and how it is different from Apache Strom, right? What's the difference? When we can use Trident and when we can't use Trident. So let's start with this. So what is Trident? Trident is nothing but an, a high-level abstraction built on a top of Strom. It's an extension of Strom and it has been developed by Twitter only, like, uh, like uh, the Twitter has developed Strom. Okay, so let me discuss the first line in more detail. It's a high-level abstraction. Mean, meaning is like, uh, let me take one example. Like, uh, uh, you must have used Hadoop MapReduce and you must have used Pig or Hive, right? Now, now the Pig and Hive has been developed on top of MapReduce, right? Why? Just to uh, like, uh, uh, just to provide high-level abstraction, so that user will only focus on the code rather than like uh, uh, going uh, into depth of the like complexity of the code. Because you know that uh, if you want to work with the uh, with the MapReduce, you first of all you need to have the knowledge of Java, and you need to like write hundred lines of code just to achieve a little thing. But the same thing can be achieved in one or two lines in the case of Pig and Hive. The same reason, like Trident has been developed, uh, which is in just just a high-level abstraction built on a top of Strom. I hope you must have now got some idea why Trident is developed. It's a high-level abstraction. So that uh, like you can be just focusing on your work only rather than going into complexity of the topologies, st uh, spouts and bolts, right? That's the reason it has been called as a high level abstraction. So it has been developed by Twitter. It is an extension to the Strom, right? So like I already have uh, conveyed this thing that if you are familiar with the high level of batch processing tools like Pig or Hive, uh, then then the concepts of uh, Trident will be familiar to you. Then uh, then uh, like it is it is uh, it's for the betterment of the uh, for the user who wants to like uh, work with the some specific software rather than going into depth of complexity of that uh, thing because he or she don't don't want to get involved with what is happening behind the scenes. He or she only wants to do its work without uh, like uh, have to think about what is going on right uh, without have to like write a uh, complex codes for it right okay so like uh, i have in this case i have uh, like uh, we have specified here that what what is happening in traditional strom right uh, which i have already now have gone through some of the i've already have put some videos on strom you must have seen that one and uh, in the strom the basic things what we do is we we create a spout class we create a bold class then we specify a grouping and then we uh, optionally we can also specify the fault tolerance right so uh, like uh, what is happened what has been now uh, like defined in this uh, particular slide that like in the case of traditional Strom, this is the environment that we got, that we have a P7, P6, P5 are nothing but the events or tuples which is uh, going on. Uh, and we have uh, some stream processing app. And uh, for the, for just to uh, like uh, work on this, we need to have these four things, which is, has been specified on the right side. We need to create a spout class. We need to create a bold class. We need to create a grouping and we need to specify the fault tolerance. So now this is the like kind of overhead for a user, right? So in order to like overcome this problem, we have the Trident, right? So in a Trident, just see, it abstract away all the details, right? Think in the time terms of operations you want to carry out. So in this case, like I already have specified in the previous thing uh, we, uh, slide here, that we don't have to get involved with the complexity. Okay, so it will be uh, uh, giving us the abstraction so that we can work on our fo uh, focus. We can only focus on our code rather than going into the complexity, right? So, so th that's why the Trident is so important for us. I hope it is fine, right? This is how we can compare a Trident with the uh, the traditional Strom. Okay. So like in the Trident, the basic abstraction that we use is uh, stream, like in the case of like Apache Spark, the basic abstraction that we use is RDD. So in this case, the basic abstraction, uh, it is called as stream and stream is nothing but the uh, consist of tuples. That uh, like in our next video, I'll be uh, teaching you that how we can create a Trident topology and how we can execute in the uh, uh, Eclipse IDE. For a time being, just remember Trident is nothing but an extension of the Strom where the basic abstraction is a stream and the stream consists of some tuples, right? Okay. Now, uh, like an another difference which uh, I can specify now is one more difference we, which we can specify between Trident topology and the Strom topology. So within the Trident topology, the streams are handled as a batches of tuples, while in the native Strom topology, streams are uh, handled as a series of individual tuples. So let to, just to like, uh, like um, um, 
uh, elaborate in uh, this particular statement let me take uh, one graphical representation of it this is a graphical representation like in the case of the native storm topology the tuples are emitted right and it is handled one at a time that I already have specified in my previous videos also like we have a spout which is emitting a tuple like uh, this is a tuple which is going on and and it's be, it'll be handled one at a time one record at a time will be handled but in the case of the uh, trident topology you can see now that the tuples are emitted and handled in a batches so in this case we will be following the concept of micro batching right so we'll be uh, having a concept of micro batching in which we make some smaller batches the, the tuples are emitted and it will be handled in the form of some smaller batches this is also one difference between the uh, like how the stream is handled in the traditional storm topology and how it is handled in the uh, like a trident topology this is the one more difference we have got so just to now uh, like um, um, uh, conclude this video uh, let me now discuss uh, the thing when we can use the trident when we not uh, when we have to just use it right so this this may be a question which which may be burning in your mind so like uh, w w like when to choose trident when not to choose trident right so like i have uh, i've con i've concluded with this the trident adds complexity to the uh, uh, storm topology it lowers the performance and generates uh, generates states right Okay, so how, why it is, uh, why it is uh, having uh, that complexity in involved with the Trident? Because Trident will uh, allow you to do the exactly one processing. Okay, uh, when, as soon as the tuple is coming in, uh, to your uh, topology, that it will be processed exactly once. I hope you must be aware of these semantics. We have a exactly one semantic. We have a at least one semantic, right? So the storm follows the at least one semantic. In the traditional storm, it may happen that some of the uh, tuples may be processed more than once also, right? But in the case of the uh, trident, it will be done with the exactly once. If you have a if you have a need of this, if you want that your data will be processed exactly once, then go with the trident. Otherwise, if you uh, don't have this uh, um, this um, like um, uh, requirement, then go with the storm. So for exactly once use trident otherwise don't because in, in order to like uh, process the data exactly once uh, there is an additional overhead because we have to take care of this thing that there will be no duplicacy that one one uh, one data or one tuple need to be processed only once right. So this is the like uh, conclusion, conclusion, uh, concluding statement from my side that uh, a trident although it's very good for us right because it, it actually uh, give us a lot of abstraction right but still it has some complexity right uh, in the in a form of that uh, which is which which, which will uh, user will not feel this complexity it will be uh, it will be uh, on the from, from a system's point of view that the system has to ex uh, process the data exactly once in the case of the trident but at least once in the case of storm so if you want to go with the exactly once then use trident otherwise don't so this concludes this video. I hope you must have understood what is Trident uh, because I don't want to touch uh, the, the advanced stuff of the Trident. It will be discussed in next video and I'll be teaching you that how we can uh, uh, also run, our uh, run and uh, make our topology in the Eclipse IDE. So still if you have any uh, doubt you can ask. Thanks for watching. See you next video.